So CJ, I have some bad news. Uh-oh. We only have time for one more question. I think that's good news for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish, I mean, we could talk here for hours and hours about more of your stories. Uh, I probably could. Have you ever could. thought about making a movie or writing a book? Uh, you know, I'm actually a pretty good writer and I've, since I was a kid, teachers would always be, you know, he should be writing and I never took that seriously. The same as I was talking about not knowing right. that I was good at something. And, uh, uh, but I always thought I'd write a book someday. But I was at an event and uh, I do this thing for the Muhammad Ali Awards every year and I fly out to Louisville and there's all these dignitaries there and uh, uh, a couple of years ago, I'm sitting uh, at a dinner afterwards, and Michael Bolton was the, the artist that year. Well, I've made a couple of records with Michael, and he knows a lot of my stories. Okay. So, but sitting there is the governor of Kentucky, John Y. Brown, who's a friend now, a great guy. There's the mayor of Louisville. There's the head of the Ali Foundation, all these dignitaries sitting there. And Bolton's going, tell him the story about how oh, you got the name CJ. Tell him. And I'm telling these stories, and these people are really glued into these stories. And this guy sitting next to me keeps hitting me on the arm. He goes, these stories are unbelievable. He goes, did, did that really happen to you? I'm like, yeah. What do you think, I'm making this shit up? <laughs> he goes, oh, man, these are amazing. So at the end of the night, he goes, you know, man, someone's got to make a movie about your life. I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not, it's not a movie thing. I said, I'll probably write a book. And he goes, no, th these stories should be in a movie. Okay. And I said, it'll be a book. And he goes, no, it's a movie. Oh. And I go, well, what makes you the expert? And he goes, I'm Len Amato, president of HBO. It's a movie. Okay. And on the flight <laughs> back, I was thinking about it. And I thought, when you've got the president of HBO telling you that you should be writing this stuff mm -hmm. down, you should do it. And so I started doing it. This was three or four years ago. And I started really getting serious about this. And... Uh, I developed an idea for a, a, a dramedy, you know, uh -huh. a sitcom yeah. drama. And again, didn't quite take that seriously. And I realized I've got all these connections. You meet everyone mm -hmm. when you live here. And I asked a friend of mine who's a sitcom uh, showrunner to, to lunch. And I said, you know, I know people must pitch you ideas all the time. It must drive you crazy. And I, I'm sorry to ask you to lunch to pitch you. And she goes, how many times do people send you stuff to listen to with music? Yeah. And I said, you know, five times a week. She goes, do you ever get back to them? I said, I try and get back to everyone. She goes, what's your idea? Stop apologizing. And so I told her my idea and she went, oh, that is really good. And so she hooked me up with some people and I ended up meeting a person that's now my executive producer and okay. I've got a formal team together we're about a month away from putting this package together. And, and, That's uh, incredible. And the first person we're going to go to is Len Amato at yeah, HBO. He's and say, so you for told it. me to do this. Uh -huh. so, but the whole uh, uh, onus of this, this show that I want to do, because now it is a show, uh, is I want to leave these stories behind. Mm -hmm. Because the era I lived will never happen again. Yeah. It's never going to be like that again, unfortunately. Yeah. And uh, I want to leave these stories behind before I leave this earth. That's the top of the, mm -hmm. you know, pyramid for me. On I that. can't wait to see it. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> you better hire a good costumer to get some really good pants for all these episodes. It's true. It's true. That it's all about the pants. Of the utmost yes. importance. Yes. Well, well, these aren't bad. If you could choose an actor to play you, I'm sure a lot of these stories revolve around your stories. That's the weird part because I don't want to write something about me, but. Uh, well, I don't want to give too much away about okay. this. But I realized I had to write that into it. I had to write that into the story. Uh -huh. And I have no idea. You don't have a thing. God, I have no idea. Yourself. But you know, the one thing is interesting about writing this, this stuff, which I, I'm writing a lot of episodes of this thing just as an exercise. Because I know the second if somebody signs this, they're going to put me with their writers that are going to rewrite everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm still writing it because yeah. I want to know what this is. And I watch this kid and I write these stories. I'm like, oh my God. And then he did, and I'm writing, what am I doing? I don't do that. I do this. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? Well, okay. So 
I'm like, this kid's got balls, man. Look at this kid. Oh, and then, then he went in and told him that. And then I sit back and I go, oh shit, that was me. It was you. That was me when I was like 18 years old. And I just wanted it so badly. Mm -hmm. It was like breathing air. It was like air I had to breathe was to be in this business and make music. And I'm so grateful uh, to have seen what I've seen. And I'm as excited now as I was when I was 18 at making music and art and creating. And boy, what a gift, you know? Yeah. You can get up every day and go, I can't wait to go to work. Yeah, that's so, success. That's success. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. Thank you. Some of your stories, I don't get a hug. I'll give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we look forward to hearing all the rest of your stories on your soon-to-be HBO dramedy. Well, we'll see what happens. But all I know is uh, I enjoy the process, and I think the same thing, that, that's a good thing for me to actually uh, leave, especially you kids out there. Uh, the result is not the thing. It's the process. Mm -hmm. Every single day has to count. To be thinking, well, I'm going to have a hit, and I'm going to get a big house. Uh, no, it's, it's every day the people you deal with and the, uh, the honesty of the work you're doing, in my opinion, is what matters. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, when you go to bed, you go, that was a great day. And today was a great day. Hanson, thank you. Oh, <laughs> here's your hug. Yeah! <laughs> thank you. You were amazing. Thank you. Yep. Cheers.